Hi, good afternoon everybody. I am your class teacher, Madam Asmaliana, and we are going to learn English today. Our activities are listening and speaking. Okay, now today's lesson is by the end of the lesson, you should be able to listen to a discussion about food waste and then you're going to discuss meanings for seven vocabularies related to food waste. And the third one, identify the correct bins to recycle waste. And then speak about why should you start recycling. You need not to worry if you have questions. You can always message me and ask. All right. Uh, can you see the pictures? What does it show? The background pictures, there are people taking food and there are large arrays of food on top of the table, right? There are different kinds of vegetables, different kinds of food. Even if you go to the hotel and you've got a buffet, you've got large arrays of food. Do you think that all the food are eaten. So we are going to look at food waste. Okay, food waste isn't just the trash that we produce during or after our meals. For example, when we have done our lunch, there are bits of perhaps chicken or rice that we haven't finished. Those are also food waste. But there are other also uh, food waste. For example, leftovers. Okay, leftovers are the food that you didn't eat and you can't even get it into your stomach because you are full, right? And it can't be eaten. So those are leftovers. Or rejected food items. For example, um, if you go to the mall, or supermarket, have you ever seen um, rotten or perhaps uh, not nice fruits, you know, they have a mold, for example. So those are rejected food items. The food that are still intact, but it is rejected because of perhaps the shape that is not nice anymore, or perhaps that's discoloration of the food or perhaps it has withered, all right? It's not fresh anymore, okay? Those are rejected food. Doesn't mean that it cannot be eaten, but it's just rejected, not up to the standard or quality, okay? So these are the food waste. We call it as food waste, okay? The food that we haven't finished on our table, the leftovers that we have, um, extra food that we have, or the rejected food items that we have and we throw it away just because you can't finish it. All right. So based on that, uh, you are going to listen to, um, to a recording, okay? So you are going to look at this picture. What is that boy doing? He is looking at you with his eyes. What do you feel? Do you pity him? Do you want to hug him? Do you want to help him? What do you think happened to him? Is he asking for food? What is that bowl doing in front of him? Why is he holding that bowl? And that bowl is empty. Why is it empty? Is he asking for something? So when you have a lot of food around you and, um, and you uh, feel, you know, you don't feel good to eat it, all right? And you throw it away. You feel better if you throw away your food other than, you know, taking care of it. Do you know there are many other people around the world that 
throw uh, away food that is still not good to eat too. You know, other than you, there are also other people around the world. It's the whole world we are talking about. Okay, so they are throwing food too. And this food waste could actually feed millions of people. These people which comes from a very poor country where they don't have enough food to eat and they are very skinny and you can only see, only see their skeletons and their skins and there's no, there's no quite, you know, fat with them because they don't have enough food and they are malnourished, meaning that they don't have enough uh, vitamins in them, they don't have enough, um, uh, enough, they don't have enough, um, what do you call that? food you know to make them grow well uh, so i want you to look at this boy and how do you feel okay but you know, what you're going to listen to is not going to be about this boy but we are going to uh, listen to a discussion um among rob and finn he, they will discuss why some of us are tempted to buy more food than we need and what attempts are being made to reduce the amount of waste food. Okay, why some of us are tempted to buy. Tempted meaning we want to buy even though we have enough, we know that we have enough but we want to buy more and more and more because perhaps we like it or perhaps it look nice or perhaps um, they got something your favorite you know you are tempted to buy more food than you actually should and then you are going to uh, to listen to what attempts are being made attempts mean what are the um, actions you know what are the, they are trying to make actions that are made to reduce the amount of wasted food. How are they going to do it? All right. Okay, it is going to sound um, a little bit hard for you, but I really hope that you can listen carefully and attentively. BBC Learning English. Hello and welcome to Six Minute English. I'm Rob and I'm Finn. Hello. Hello, Finn. Now, you like food, don't you? Oh, yes, I do. But how much of it do you actually throw away? Probably too much, although I'm trying to get better at that, Rob. Very good. Well, I'm asking you this because many people around the world throw away food that's still good enough to eat. This food waste could feed millions of other people. That's what we're talking about today, as well as looking at some related vocabulary. Yes, food waste is a big problem. So we stock up on food that we don't really need, and we're often tempted by supermarkets to consume or to eat more. Mm. Before we talk more about this, let's find out what you know about food waste. So do you know, according to the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization, what percentage of food is actually wasted? Is it A, 25%, B, 33%, or C, 50%? 50%. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot. I seem to remember that. Okay. Might be wrong. Well, we'll find out if you're right or wrong later on. But now, here's another figure for you. In Europe, people throw away 100 million tonnes of food every year. Wow, such a waste. Most of this food just ends up rotting in landfill sites. And that adds to another problem. It creates greenhouse gases. It does, Finn. But the problem isn't just us throwing away leftovers in the fridge or the cupboard. As we can hear now from BBC reporter Caroline Hepker, what are the other reasons that leads to food being wasted? Typically, supermarkets demand that onions are about two to two and a quarter inches in diameter. This one will get pretty close to it, but this one is too small, although it is perfectly edible. The question is, what happens to it then? Food waste is a huge issue in America. 40% of all food goes uneaten, and it's a problem that starts long before you get to the dining room table. 
Yes, and another staggering figure there, Rob. 40% of all food in America goes up. goes uneaten. It doesn't get eaten. And she explained that supermarkets are partly to blame. Yes, we all love the convenience, the price and the choice of food that supermarkets offer. But a lot of food is binned, thrown out long before it reaches the shelves. Yes, and the reporter gave the example of onions. If they're the wrong size, they can't be sold. They're thrown away, even though they're good enough to eat or edible. There are many other types of fruit and vegetables that are discarded or thrown away because of their shape and size. And that's our fault, really, because we often think food that looks good is better quality. And another issue is the sell-by and use-by dates printed on food packaging. They confuse customers. Anything older than the sell-by date makes us think that it's old and the food has gone off. But in fact, this is just the date the supermarket wants to sell it by. And there's another reason why some of us are encouraged to buy too much food. Have a listen to working mum Tara Sherbrook about her shopping habits and see if you can hear what the problem is. Also, see if you can hear what she does to try and minimise food waste. I try very hard to meal plan because um, as a working mum and having a busy family, I really try to make sure that there's enough food at the beginning of the week. I find it very difficult to walk past two for one offers, especially on things that, um, that we use. I even find it hard to walk past them when they're, um, when they're items that I've never purchased before. I stop and look. So she's a busy working mum and she tries to meal plan. She plans the family's meals for the week and works out what to buy. But she still gets tempted by the two for one offers. That's when you buy one item and you get another one of the same item for free. Mm, yes, as we call it, buy one, get one free. Or as it's sometimes known, B-O-G-O-F. Bog off. Bog off. <laughs> <laughs> you can get a bargain, but it also means that we sometimes buy too much of something. If it's fresh produce, it might go off before you get to use it all. But in other parts of the world, people struggle to buy even the most basic food. A report by the UN's Food and Agricultural Organization found that there is enough food for everyone, just a lot of inefficiency. So, Okay, I really hope that you could um, listen to it well. And if you want to replay, you can only replay three times the most, all right? Three times the most so that it can test you on your listening skills. Okay, so let's see um, what do you think and what you have listened to based on what you have listened to. According to the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization, what percentage of food is wasted? Which one do you think? Is it 25%? Is it 33% or 50%? I'm not going to give you the answer. You have to listen to the program again to find out the answer. Okay. But before we go on, I just want to ask you, what is what does it mean by United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization? What do you think uh, that is? Okay, United Nations. What are United Nations? What do you think United Nations stands for? United Nations is actually um, uh, a global organization. Okay, so it is a forum to address issues. You know, they are discussing discussing issues, what happen all around the world. So these are. The United Nations, they are consist of um, a lot of countries around the world, okay? And food and agricultural organization, organization. what is food and agricultural organization? What is it? All right, what is food? Food is food, you know, things that you eat. And agricultural? Okay, agricultural is the farming, you know, about the plants um, that people plant, all right? 
organization. So these are the organization uh, that cater all the food and agricultural businesses around the United Nations. Okay, these are very serious. Okay, so they are very important in um, bringing up all the issues that matters about food and agriculture among the United Nations countries. Okay, now let's move on. Okay, so there are um, a lot of vocabularies, I believe, that you learn throughout the listening, listening activities. Now, I want you to look, what does it mean by stock up on? Try to guess. What does it mean by consume? And then landfill sites. What does it mean by landfill sites? Leftovers, convenience, edible, and discarded. Okay, let's see. Stock up on means you buy a large quantity of something and then you want to stock it in your house so that uh, perhaps you, you have more, you know. Uh, just like what we have experienced during the first MCO where people keep on buying um, breads, gardenia breads to stock up, you know. Uh, so these are not quite um, acceptable actually to buy a large quantity of food uh, to be kept because food is rotting, you know. When it rots, you are tend to waste it, right? Okay, what about consume? Consume means anything that you eat, anything that go into your throat and then go to your tummy, of course, right? Now, what about landfill sites? Okay, landfill sites are the large holes in the ground where people's waste or rubbish is buried. Usually, this landfill site is one place... Um, Use for a lot of other people, you know, it's really large sites where all of the rubbish are compiled there. Um, so, uh, if you want to know more, you can go and look for the pictures of the landfill sites. All right, what about leftovers? Leftovers are the food, your leftovers that is not eaten, you know, you buy, for example, five bagels or you buy five um, donuts from Dunkin Donuts and then you just eat two right so three the rest of it is the leftovers where you throw away okay convenient convenient means something that you um, do easily okay it is ease of doing something it's convenience for you uh, to just throw you know everything at one place is easy you don't have to go into so much hassle to to uh, separate you know so it's convenient edible what is edible edible is safe or good enough to be eaten something that you can chew something that you can eat uh, and it's safe all right for example if you cook or you bake a cake and that cake is really really hot you know and you can't bite it so that is not edible <laughs> have you ever experienced that discarded what about discarded discarded means thrown away something that you throw away you don't want it anymore you have discarded okay so that is discarded okay so there are seven vocabularies here i want you to um try to remember it and uh, you're going to do it in your comprehension book later. Okay, what are the other food ways? I mean, what are the other um, ways that people throw away other than food ways? Okay, what do you think people throw away? Okay, there are a lot of things. If you see the first row, that is the papers, whether uh, newspapers, boxes, stick notes, you know, pizza boxes, um, crumpled paper, bills and everything. Those are papers. Okay, they, it's a waste. People throw it away. And then there's also bottles, jars, a mirror, um, ashtray that people throw away because it is broken and all. Okay, another one is food waste, anything that is organic, 
all right so you got eggshells you got flowers you got um, banana skin okay you got rotten apple and everything so those are organic waste and then next one is plastic anything that is made from plastics bottle plastic plastic bags spoons um what else um containers that are made from plastics and the next one are the um e-waste e-waste is uh, electric waste anything that is from electronic you know um laptop batteries lamp lights kettle electric kettle your handphone um what else around your house you have tv you have um printer all right so those are electrical items and also of course aluminium or iron okay where does this waste go these rejected items by humans are the biggest contributors to the waste found in landfills. Okay, what is landfills? This is the landfills. You know, remember the holes that people made and then it is a site or a place where people throw their rubbish to? Okay, this is the place. If you see, look at the pictures. What do you see? Look at the birds. What kind of birds? You know? There's no road anymore. And then you look at the animals. That is the biggest mammals. What happened to it? No? Can you imagine this is the biggest animal on the ocean? What happened to the smaller one? What happened to them? Now what about the third picture? Something is in the ocean. What is it? Okay, so these are all the waste. What happened to the waste is on land. It is uh, in the sea. It is disturbing our cycle, the animals, all right? The pollution that happened because of um, a lot of waste that we throw away. So what should we do to reduce this waste, all right? So we need to reuse when we use back whatever that we have. For example, a paper bag you bought, you bought an Adidas sneakers. So you got a paper bag there. So you can use that paper bag as your shopping bag. What about reduce? Reduce means to lessen things. Okay. So uh, for example, when you use uh, the paper bag just now that you have, you are reducing the usage of plastic bags in the supermarket. And then recycle. What is recycle? Recycle means you make something to be something else. You know, for example, paper waste, um, what do you call that? Newspaper waste, boxes waste, you know, you recycle it, put it in the bin, at a specific bin, of course, and then that bin is um, sent to the specific um recycle um recycle factory and that recycle factory are going to make a new item based on that paper for example um re uh, cups paper cups you know or perhaps plates recycled paper plates so those are the actions that we can do to reduce waste okay how to recycle and all the things okay how to recycle hmm? but maybe not everything that we can recycle but the whole lot of it how do we do it okay, we throw our waste in the correct bins all right if this is what is agreed on um, to other countries too they have glasses e-waste metal paper plastic and organic bins for us to separate our waste okay what about malaysia we might not have all but uh, we do have the common ones are for you know the paper plastic cans and bottles most of the time the organic waste that we use uh, that we have in our house is we are going to just you know make it as a compost right Okay, as fertilizers to our plants, you know, so we don't throw it in the bin. Okay, 
So these are the recycled bins that we usually found in Malaysia. So why should I, why should you start recycling? Why? So recycling is easy to do actually and it really can make a difference. But why? Have you asked yourself? Actually, recycling can save energy. Okay, using recycled materials in the manufacturing process uses considerably less energy than the required for producing new products from raw materials. What does this mean? It's too long, teacher, I can't understand. Okay, meaning that if you use uh, and you send these recycled materials, all the papers, all the boxes, all the plastics, you know, you go and put it in the bin, specific bin, and these people are going to send it to the recycling center. They are going to process that item, you know, and it, they are going to use less energy than producing it new. You know, if it's a new paper, paper cup, you're going to have to cut down trees. You're going to have to chop it out. You're going to have to make them into bits, and then you're going to go into a lot of other processes you know because it is from raw materials but if you send the recycled materials it has in its form already they just need a new face so it is using less energy all right now next recycling helps to protect the environment of course because when you recycle you don't need to throw a lot of things anymore you don't make new things and then throw it make new things and throw it so it helps the environment recycling reduces the need of extracting refining and processing raw materials all of which create air and water pollution so for example as i told you before for example you want to make a plastic bag all right, where does it come from? It comes from a mixture of chemicals and also, uh, of course, plants, right? And then they have to extract, refine, and process these raw materials, which all of these substances, all of the waste, you know, the chemical waste, are going to create air pollution. You know, when the factory works, they are going to produce air, emit, emit um, smoke, and water pollution where they will throw away all the unnecessary pollutant in the in our river right so it reduces uh, the need of that and as recycling saves energy it also reduces greenhouse gas emission which helps to tackle climate change so what is climate change i want you to do your own revision on that you own a research on that. What is greenhouse effects? Everybody know you have seen the greenhouse. It's at the nursery, teacher. Uh, what about greenhouse effects to the world? All right, so Google that. What is greenhouse effect? Okay, so it saves energy. Because why? Um, greenhouse effect will make the world hotter. And then they will climate, they'll have climate change and everything. You know, so uh, if we face this problem, we are going to use a lot of energy. For example, the world has become hotter and we feel so hot inside the house. You know, we uh, switch on the air conditioner to make us feel comfortable and better. You know, and this air conditioner is com uh, emitting chlorofluorocarbon, which is releases through the air to our atmosphere where the CFC is going to uh make the ozone layer thinner you know these simple things actually affect our world so the first thing that we need to do is just recycling to help to protect the environment and the last one is recycling reduces landfill of course when you don't you have uh, less waste you are going to you're not going to throw your waste in the landfill anymore. When we recycle, recyclable materials are pre reprocessed into new products. And as a result of the amount of rubbish sent to landfill sites decreases, you know, not anymore, not as much as before, which reduces emissions of methane. Methane is a gas, a powerful greenhouse gas. All right, so it's very hot. This is the gas where 
it makes us among the thing that makes us feel hot all right okay so those are the reason why you should start recycling okay now your assignment what do you need to do you need to copy all the seven vocabularies in food waste on food waste in your comprehension book and then second, I want you to add on other vocabularies related to the topic and then read the reason why should I start recycling and record it. All right. This one, it can be in recording form. It can be audio form. It can be in video form. It can, you can use TikTok filters. You can go Instagram filters, whichever you like. As long as I could hear your voice and I could hear you pronounce words. Okay, I don't mind. If you want to get creative, go creative. All right. So there are two tasks. Okay, first, the seven vocabularies on two way uh, on food ways. I'm sorry, and you need to add on other vocabularies too. And then the second one, you should record your voice reading. Why should I start recycling? That's it. So when you are done, I want you to click on the attendance link given in the comment box or in your class group. Later, I'll give you. And both assignments should be attached together in the attendance link. If you don't submit this, you don't, sell, uh, you don't hand in your assignments, your attendance are not going to be counted. All right? Okay, so I really hope that you understand. And if you have questions, I really hope that you can call and ask me or uh, message me so I can tell you and explain to you what are the things that you don't under understand. So I really hope to see you again um, next time. And those who fail to join our class today, um, it's fine. I'm not mad at you. Just next time, make it an effort. All right? Okay. See you all and congratulations. We are done. Thank you. See you. I'm signing off from Madam Us. <laughs>